four, count them, four DLCs. Looks so cool. We got our release day. <laughs> Wait, we play them off? <gasps> Rhythm gaming. Good morning, gamers. It's, what time is it? It's 8.53. This, this thing starts at nine, my time. 7 a.m. Pacific, but you know the drill. You know the drill. We've done this before. I'm not even kidding when I say I literally, I roll, I just rolled out of bed. I was going to have like a coffee ready because I still have my paleo coffee. I was going to make myself a little coffee. I probably still will make myself a little coffee after this. Um, And I probably would have had time to make a, a little coffee because it's really quick, but it's too late now. Actually, we got six. Do you think I have time to make myself a little coffee? My model tracking is glitching today. I'm going to go try to speed run making a little coffee. Hold on. Three minutes to spare. <laughs> it did leak again. I'm just convinced these shaker cups cannot cannot not leak so hold on we have to take a brief pause for morning meds now because i was just gonna have them after but if i want to have the coffee i have to have them now so i'm a bit late so we also have water we have two drinks we're almost at three and technically technically they're both functional drinks because the water is to take meds and the coffee is caffeine do i think paleo is gonna show anything today i don't think so like on the topic of paleo i don't think they're gonna show anything there is an update patch later today and we're gonna we're gonna look at it later but I don't think because I think there's a trailer, but I don't at least I haven't heard anything if they're going to be showing anything today. So I wouldn't be surprised, though, because they did kind of first show off Palea and announce it at a Nintendo, you know, you know, so like throwback. That was like a year ago. Oh, my God. Wow. See, I have a Palea on my radar for much longer. So it's coffee time. Could coffee time be a bad idea? Possibly. But I've had Palea on my radar for like at least two, maybe three years. So I always forget. We should be starting any minute now. And it is, it is officially 7 a.m. Pacific on the hour. And my coffee really wants to leak on me today. Here we go. It's so loud. Oh my God. Hi. So Nintendo double feature. Nintendo direct double feature. This is what I was calling it last night on Twitter. We're starting with the Indies. Yay. I love Indie World. I always get so much games out of it. But also we might have seen some of these. And if we, ha if I already am playing any of these, um, I'll point them out. Because my backlog is backlogging. There's a lot of games in my backlog right now. Some have been there longer than others. So they're keeping the... The what's it? The light bulb animation. So what's our first game? Something about a door? It looks cool, but also is it just like... I was going to say, is it just like Balatro? But it's about it's Balatro and the Witcher. Okay. I was like, I see cards and I'm like, I think it's just Balatro. <laughs> but that's... Isn't that already out on Switch? Yes. It's DLC. Vampire Survivor... Wait. <laughs> I haven't played Balatro yet. I'm gonna be honest. Um, this vibes. I haven't played it yet. My hand, my hand tracking is glitching. And Dave the Diver. <laughs> it's like take a shot every time they announce another collab. Good for the and Among Us. What the? It keeps going. I feel like I knew about the Dave the Diver one. Um, I knew about none of these other ones. We're at four. Count them. Four DLCs for Balatro. That will do for now. So there's more on the way. Okay. Friends of Jimbo. That makes sense. It's not even DLC. It's a free update. Wow. I thought it was paid DLC. Never. We're talking about never. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I keep seeing little bits and pieces about this game. That is, it's like, I think it's finished. I think never is finished. TLDR, I really like Gris. Grease. I always thought it was Gris, but I think it's Grease. Um, never was shown off at Summer Game Fest. I was so excited. And I think we're getting, we, I hope we're getting a release date. That would be sick if we get a release date. Latest news about the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alba and Neva. I think they're both just characters in the game. I don't know, man, because Grease is the main character of Grease, obviously. It looks so cool. This is definitely a more like darker trailer. Just in like the tone, they're showing off another side of the game, it seems like. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited. That's sick. That is sick. Oh, stabbing. Okay. Ooh. This is gonna be such a good game. It's so cool. Cause that's the thing, I liked Grease, but it wasn't my favorite gameplay loop wise. But I think this gameplay loop, oh, October 15th, we got a release day. <laughs> Wah, yay, yay. I'm clapping, but my tracking isn't picking it up yet. What is this? Oh my God, I don't even have any time to like, oh, wait, this is cool. Insect, mega, moth, cubit. Wait, we play a moth? <gasps> We play a moth. I'm playing this. Rhythm gaming. I'm playing this game. Moth cubit. We're playing it. I don't like bugs, but I like moths. So we're going to play this. But never getting a release date is so cool. So exciting. It's also good because that's like right after both Dreamhack and like the other anime impulse. But we're not going to talk about that. Um, 
So I'm excited. I also, I didn't mention this before, but I will be clipping around this video just in, so we don't get DMCA'd. Um, so I'll link the full, what's the word? Oh, okay, we're getting into next spring. I'll link the full VODs down below and stuff. Oh, it's the Coffee Talk devs. Partnering with Quartz? More Coffee Talk? I actually haven't played the first two. I'm a new... Oh, Coffee Talk Tokyo. Maybe we. this is where we, we dive in. Tokyo in 2025? So is it going to get released in 2025 then? Oh, they do such good work on the designs for Coffee Talk. I think it might be time. I think it might be time to dive into Coffee Talk. It's one of those indie games that just doesn't go away. I see people playing it all the time, like in terms of like streaming and stuff. I think it might be time we... Oh, and they have like the latte art and it's... Oh, it's matcha. I think it might be time. The designs are so colorful too. I love it. I actually love the designs. I think because like the Coffee Talk games are like the customers are based off like not technically monsters but like mo monster designs you know and i feel like there's a lot of really cool like japanese mythology and stuff like that you could that you can really utilize in like a tokyo based game that's really cool ready to pour in 2025 okay so 2025 release like i think it's really cool to do that you look a little familiar are they a character or is it us i don't know <laughs> all right dlc rush let's go and do dlc rush what do we got oh what are you sea of stars that's DLC for Sea of Stars? It looks so different. Whoa. I kind of want to pick up Sea of Stars again. <laughs> I kind of want to do that. I love this look of this DLC. It's so different. I didn't even know what it was at first. I've played some of Sea of Stars. Insane. That is so cool. Another free DLC. Nice. Launches next spring. So it is a while out, but it looks so good. Is this Shrek cleaning simulator DLC? Oh my god! <laughs> Not cleaning, um, power washer. Wow. This one's paid, but understandable. <laughs> Feel like an all-star! <laughs> That's wild. Oh my god. <laughs> you have the armor. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Multiplayer. Oh, are we no longer on DLC? Morsels. Cat game. Cat deck builder? Oh my god, there's a cat in the background. Look at the cat. I'm just getting distracted by like the real life cat, but then also the pixel cat. A strange little game. I love strange little games. I love playing strange. Ooh. Annapurna. Ooh, wait. It's okay. They got names. This looks really good. A little grimy, but I think that's the point. Like it was like, ew. Goopy. Ooh, and the music does vibe. No, this looks... So I don't know if it, whether to call it a top-down shooter, like a bullet hell, but also there's like deck builder elements and rogue elements. This is a little, a little big, I don't, what's the word? Like, love them. It's a little gross. I, gross is the word, but I think I still want to play it. There's so much, I'm really impressed by the art. It's really good. Even the pixel font, like, it looks really good. So far, every, I think everything they've shown has been like, knock out of the park. This is why I love indie world showcases as opposed to the normal ones okay everything is good everything is good we also love supporting independent devs february 2025 all right okay i'm probably gonna be playing quite a few visual novels and like otome game style games in 2025 speaking of otomes um so that'll be a little switch up for sure <laughs> tone wise oh my god this is date everything <laughs> I've heard so much about this. It's literally a game where you date, like, anthropomorphized <laughs> objects. Oh my god. Shelly the Chef, what are you? Doug? The, your overwhelming sense of existential dread, Doug. <laughs> Can I be for- Oh my god, I love Lux. <laughs> I get it, I get it, guys, I get it. I get it. Text box. <laughs> yeah, they're fully boys too, which is insane. Bobby the Bobby- Oh my god, Bobby the Bobby pin insane this game is insane already i like that you can also just be friends oh my god wait oh my god wait i get it now i get it now i get why everyone was talking about this game i get it now peglin wait peglin is peglin getting a i i don't think peglin's out on switch oh my god it's getting a switch release oh yeah peglin is fine it's like the peg game but a rogue it's fine <laughs> i demoed it on steam ages ago that was like one of the early demo dives. Yay, Peglin on Switch. I'm so excited. I want to get it on Switch so bad. I love playing Rogues on Switch. So this is a perfect game for Switch, by the way. If you have not tried Peglin and are looking for like a nice little like mindless game, try Peglin on Switch. It's so fun. Pachinko, that's the word I was looking for. Pachinko mixed with like a roguelite. It's so fun. I think graphics wise, this is a good one to run off a of Switch. 
if you're worried about like the graphics because it's, it's pixel so you're good i actually might get it myself i might try to get my hands on it because i haven't played it in a couple years now like at least two because like i said i demo dived it early demo dive so the last time i played it was before it released anywhere so i'm ex i'm kind of excited because this is gonna be my first time picking it up again i am gonna get it on switch even if i don't get my hands on like a review copy or something i'm just gonna get it for my own enjoyment on switch <laughs> there's so many different levels what day what day please be soon later today oh yes <laughs> oh wobbly island's going to switch okay i'm so excited for peglet it's later today oh my gosh yeah this is like a sandbox co-op game very chaotic is from what i've heard i haven't played it myself though i'm so excited for peglin that's gonna be so much fun for me i'm really excited for that hoping we'll do a little video but if not i am gonna it's totally for my own enjoyment it does look like you need nintendo switch online to play this game though which it is an online game coming december 2024 i don't think you can play that offline pico park oh my god <laughs> the same difference here i think you you cannot play this offline it's online co-op only i think <laughs> pico park in 2024 <laughs> wow they like kind of got all the really i think their port all the ports have been kind of insane so far because even peglin got some traction when it first released a lot of really good ports today a lot wait pico park 2 oh that's why it looks slightly different it's a second one this isn't even a port it's just a second one okay these look insane these puzzles what in the what in the evangelion <laughs> dark mode they just made this <laughs> They literally just, they're gonna, later today, oh my god, Pico Park Resurgence. Are we going, are we speed running? We're speed running, I think. I think this is just ports though, maybe? Or pre-announced stuff. Shovel Knight, okay, okay, a classic. We're vibing. I actually haven't played Shovel Knight, surprise. You're up, uh, October 11th, oh my god, they got a date now too. Oh my gosh, sick, good for them. We did finally demo Europa on Switch, but I do have to say, Cuisiner. January 28th. Okay, they're going to Switch as well. This looks like just like Port Central here. Um, I did get to demo Europa on Switch. I personally think if you're going to play Europa to try and get it on PC though. Oh my God, On Your Tail too. November 21st, they got a date. Oh my God, good for y'all. We're Twitter Mutuals now. <laughs> That's <all> like yesterday. <laughs> oh my God, this is so fun. Metal Slug. That's so cool. All these games getting release dates. That's so fun. Uh, but yeah, Europa. Oh, Plucky Squire, September 17th as well. Oh my God, there's so much going on. Um, I do recommend playing Europa on PC or console that is not Nintendo Switch. I don't know if it's coming to consoles other than Nintendo Switch though. Um, but if you are deciding to play it on Switch, it's not the worst okay, on Switch, but I do think I would recommend just because of the graphics and everything, playing it on PC. So something about a tower. Pizza tower. <laughs> Oh, wow. This Nintendo Direct is, might be, in terms of indie, and it is indie, might be the best one I've seen in a while. They've been doing so well with Nintendo Direct's second half of this year, because we got a really good main Direct, like first party Direct, earlier this, or a little, a couple months ago. But this, in terms of indies, insane. One of the best Directs I've seen in a while, quite frankly. It, underst it understood the assignment. It is an indie direct, so like insane. I personally am not a Pizza Tower fan, but I know there's so many people who are, and this is wild. It is wild. This being like the way to finish off the indie direct. The only thing that would have rivaled this would be Silk Song announcement <laughs> at the very end. That would have been that. That would have been the kicker later today as well. That's insane. So many things that was just like surprise, surprise. Very good indie direct though. Very wow. good. No notes Today's at all. Indie. I think, yeah, like I said, the only thing that would have made this more wild would be if they did the Silk Song drop, but <laughs> I think no notes. Very good direct. So now we have the partner showcase. So we have even more stuff. So this is where, this is where we might see some AAA stuff because it is a partner showcase. So it's like companies that work very closely with Nintendo. I'm trying to think of like an example, but I mean, it's starting now. So it's not like the Mario's and like the Kirby's maybe Kirby, but it's not those type of games. It's games from other developers who, like I said, have like a closer relationship with Nintendo. So we could still see some indies. So second half of 2024 games, we'll probably have some 2025 in there. Games falling into place. So like Tetris, isn't that first party? What is this? Oh, it is just Tetris. Okay, Tetris forever. Okay, I was like, this is just Tetris. Cause the music, the, like the song started playing. I'm like, this is just Tetris. Vibes though. The Tetris music vibes. I stand by that. 
It's just more insane Tetris. I mean, if you like Tetris, this is definitely a, a steal because it's like so many games. I'm not really a Tetris. I, I'm a fan of Tetris and the fact that I think like is competitive Tetris a thing. I think it's insane to watch people who are really good at it go compete with each other, essentially, <laughs> and the music slaps. Available 2025. Oh, wait. Sh Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. Wait, why is it? I'm just like vibing. <laughs> I'm vibing with my 8-bit music. Speed into the... What is this? What is this? Is this? No, no. I was like, this is not... <laughs> Star Overdrive. I was like, this is not Hi-Fi Rush. Speaking of Hi-Fi Rush, they got bought by a new company. Yay, we love to see it. We love to see... Eh? Oh my God, I thought we died. I thought I lost that room in my PC again because it wouldn't be the first time. I've actually never heard of this game. Maybe it happened, I'm just blanking. But this looks like something hypothetically I would enjoy. Maybe we'll demo? Maybe we'll demo. Something overdrive, star overdrive. I think I will struggle with the hoverboard just because I struggle with every movement object ever, IRL and in game. Like hypothetically, this looks like something I would like. It has all the things, you know? But I think I would want to demo. And if this is in-engine footage for Switch, it looks pretty good. Star Overdrive 2025. It is a timed Switch exclusive. So, ah, the Goat Simulator reboot. Reboot? Is it a, I know they're re-releasing it. Goat Simulator 3. Wait, that's not the re-release, is it? Is it? Because this it was previously announced at uh, Gamescom, actually, that they were redoing it, I think. Opening Night Live, they announced it. Is that goat wearing Crocs? Yeah. Goat variants. Those are just other animals. No, like you can do multiplayer. Multiplayer and it's local and online. We love to see it. Wow, later today. I don't think that's the re the remake, but it's understandable that they would re-release -re a port of one of the earlier games for the sole purpose that the remake is releasing like next year. That makes sense. Because I think they're rebooting it. Like make, make, like re -re remastering it. They're remastering it. Wait, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the first. Okay. Is this a Trails series game? Surprisingly, I haven't played the trail series, but I've been meaning to. Star Wars Hunters Season 3, September 26th. I don't play the Star Wars. I've seen, like, I've, I've said this, I've seen, like, a couple of the good movies. Stalker Legends of the Zone Trilogy, Shooter, not my vibe. And that's okay. I knocked it out of the park with indies today, so. Worms Armageddon Anniversary Edition. Okay. But uh, breezing through things. Dreamlight Valley, all right. In-game event is September 4th. Maybe they'll show the, will they show the Paleo update here? I don't think. The paleo patch is super crazy though because i saw it i saw notes early i don't think it's that crazy i think it's like a normal patch spongebob i remember that scene <laughs> this is patrick <laughs> the patrick star game oh my god you just roll around as patrick star wait that's kind of fun and also he got a game that's kind of fun i don't think i'm gonna play it but that's kind of fun since when did mrs puff have a rage room when was that a when did that become a thing i mean it looks like it'll be fun but i don't really i don't I don't, I'm not really a Spongebob fan anymore, I think. October 4th, though. I'm not even going to be here when it drops. Oh, what do we get? Is it Miku Boxing? Is it Miku Boxing? <laughs> Free training? Rhythm? No. Fitness Boxing 3 is a rhythm game? Was it always a rhythm game? Because I've been thinking about getting it. Because I've, I've been on my fitness girly arc. So I've been thinking about getting, like, Ring Fit or something like that. I, I know I've seen I've heard people throw around the terms Miku boxing, but maybe I'll just get this one. Isn't isn't there a Miku one? I want to sit fit. Oh, that's really cool. I love that they do that. Oh my god. Wait, I'm j I tried to like <laughs> I was gonna try to rate the songs, but I kind of want to just get the new one. You can change the instructor's hairstyles. That's <laughs> so. You know what though? I kind of love that. I guess it was always kind of like a rhythm game. I didn't know that. Oh my god. Stop. December 5th. Okay. My um my model tracking is goofing today. I don't know why. Ah, Capcom fighting game releases. Okay. Cool. Oh my god, wait. We have to mute. They're playing they're playing vocal music. We have to mute. I don't know enough about fighting games for this. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Happy for y'all though. This is very exciting. <laughs> this is very exciting for fighting game fans, but I don't play these sort of fighting games, so. This Power Stone looks cute, cute though. I don't know enough about fighting game lore. I, I'm happy I muted this though, because it's it vibes. 2025, all right. I knew that they would have 2025 release stuff. I'm pretty sure this Marvel vs. Capcom was also pre-announced. Pre I'm pretty sure this already was announced. They say digital pre-orders today, but yeah, physical version, they are getting a physical. So just in time for the holidays, the physical is out, understandable. We're back with sound. What's next? They just said, take a look at this. What is it? Eh? Whoa. 
well, we're gonna play this. We're gonna play whatever this is. Unless it's like part of like a series or something and I need to play the whole series first. Um, so my coffee is leaking like a lot. And to be fair, I did wash the cup, the like paleo cup. I did wash it in the dishwasher and it says it's hand wash only, but I was lazy and I thought it was fine. Maybe not. This is whatever's going on here is definitely not fine. This looks so good though. Ooh, anime protect moment. Ooh. <laughs> Also, voice acting it pops off. What is this? It has to be like a trails or something, right? But it's not the art style, is it? If anything, it looks like very Xenoblade. Atelier Yumiya, the alchemist of memories in the envisioned land, early 2025. Okay, I'm down. I don't think it's part of a series. Oh, no, it is. Newest entry in the series with the new protag. I'm, I might look that up later and see the, what the other games are first. Because that was a vibe. That looked really good. I liked it a lot. I was like, I don't want to see. So what is this? Remasters? Okay. Remasters for Suikoden. Not played this. It's a turn-based RPG though. So, because I talked about this during Gamescom. I do the demo series on my channel, right? But I've been cooking two other series that I didn't really know how to figure out and get into. One for, I, which I was already doing, was early access games, a specific like playlist series for them. March 5th on this. Okay, but most of these are 2025th, by the way. Dragon Quest. This was previously announced, I believe, because I want to get into it. I think, I think it was previously announced. Ooh, customization. Um, but the other series I wanted to get put together was a series for quote unquote retro games that I haven't played before. But I mean, if there's a re-release, like a remaster of a retro game, that could also, I think I would count that as well. I think I would count that. So maybe. Castlevania, Castlevania. Wait, the, wait, this is, wait. They're re-releasing -re -re Castlevania games that were on the Nintendo DS. Y'all know what that means, right? This is like, at least in the, the, that I know of, I think one of the first remastered versions of, game, of a game that was originally on Nintendo DS. Wait, Civ? Civ 7's on Switch? I feel like I feel like they showed that at Gamescom. I'm already, I was already planning on playing this, right? But is that Castlevania remaster? The first Nintendo DS remaster to Switch? Because that opens doors, man. Because I think the big thing with that has been like, well, how are they going to... Nintendo DS had two screens. How are they going to put that on Switch? Uh, they figured it out. They figured it out. Um, They figured it out. And it's in like a Nintendo partner showcase. So I'm like, I think they figured it out. I think Nintendo figured out how they're gonna port the, the DS games. Okay, okay, that's the, uh, good to know. Did we know when, the, February 11th, did we have a date? I think we had a date. I'm pretty sure we already, we already had a date for Civ. Bonds transcend time. What is this? What in the JRPG is this? It's Tales. Tales of Grace. This is a remaster. Looks beautiful. Again, it's a remaster. It could technically fall into the category of the retro series that I've been trying to put together. Ooh, cute character! I know I, sh I know I would like the Tales of series, but there's so many games, all right? There's so many. Is it Tales or Trail? I know there's just so many series, like JRPG series that I feel like the need to get into. I think it's Tales, is it? I think it's, no, it's Trails. So this Tales of, is there, this is January 17th, I'm writing it down. Whoa, my Sims! Wait, this is also a DS remaster. Also, actually, I think this was on Wii. Y'all, I don't think, I, we haven't talked about this, but My Sims was my childhood, actually. We had one copy of this game that I think my mom got on sale somewhere for DS. Um, and me and my sister would consistently fight over who got to play it, consistently. Um, to the point where we, like, we got in like long-standing arguments over this as children, like young children of who got to play My Sims. Like, act like fights <laughs> as like children. Um, My Sims Cozy Bundle. Okay, cute. It's My Sims and My Sims Kingdom retro re release in November. I didn't get the actual date. Oh, FNAF. Help wanted to. Actually, a spoiler alert I will be playing a FNAF game soon in October. I've, I've brought this up before. The, uh, I think it was during Gamescom stuff that there I was already planning out spooky October content. And uh, one of the things, one of the things was going to be a beloved franchise, uh, and it's FNAF. 
but it's not FNAF how you think it is. That's all I'll say. That probably kind of gives it away, but we will, I will be playing my first Five Nights at Freddy's game in a month or so. Free DLC for Security Breach. Okay. Drink my coffee that's leaking all over me again. You know, this is leaking really bad. Oh, 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 we gotta mute. We gotta mute this portion. They got J Just Dance. Mickey Rebrush. Yeah, this was previously announced, I believe, September 24th. Um, I fear the mouse, so we will not be playing it. <laughs> we have the Lord of the Rings game. Still just says holiday 2024. Yeah, I like can't drink my coffee. Like, it's leaking so bad. Just Dance 2025 edition. Actually, I don't think I need to mute then because they're not playing it with music. That's, I'm happy about that, actually. The Funko game, available holiday 2024. I believe this does have a release for September, but it might be PC only. I believe I have seen a release date for that. EA Sports, it's in the game. <laughs> oh, I don't play sports games. I just know the tagline. The Horizon Lego game is holiday 2024. I feel like some of these do have dates, release dates by the way, but maybe they don't have Switch release dates. Oh, okay. What are you? What is this? Is, what in the JRPG is this? said lovingly i want to play it it's giving journey to the west and i also say that lovingly ozuma what is this rune factory guardians of ozuma i want to play it Ooh, you're so pretty you're so pretty the characters go the character designs go crazy Ooh, pretty i see that tanuki in the background oh so it looks like there might be two different versions of the main character and their their designs are like wildly different. I do love a white haired character though. The problem is both the main character versions are really pretty, if that's what the vibe is. Um, so the problem is I don't know who I'd want to play as because they're both really pretty. Uh, yeah, we'll play this though. I've also not played a Rune Factory game, so maybe we have to look into that. Oh, wait, wait, the character designs. <laughs> This is really pretty. <laughs> a beloved series reimagined. This could be a good, I think, yeah, we'll play. Spring 2025. We have time. Okay. This looks really good. <laughs> I think we're, all right, one more announcement. Okay. Okay. What's it going to be? That's me. It's got to be a big one. Oh my God. It is a big one. <laughs> Yakuza. <laughs> Bro. Yakuza Kiwami. All right. Yep. Yeah, that would be a big one. That would be a big one. <laughs> yep, I'm like, it's gotta be a big one. It's Yakuza. That, that, yep. <laughs> Is this the first Yakuza game on Switch? I think it might be. I will say just from some of the gameplay shots, I don't know how about, how I feel about the, uh, what's the word? The uh, performance on Switch, but I think it'll run good enough if that's the only console you have. Oh my God, the, the Mahjong. I've heard stories of, I think it's this game the mahjong mini game of that people like have like 50 plus hours in this game and it's just from mahjong it's not even like the main gameplay story it's just the mahjong october 24th okay i think it's this game that the people just play mahjong and honestly pretty good partner showcase as well that was pretty good pretty good stuff was it silk song no but it didn't have to be i do think there was something for everyone a lot of jrpgs which i'm not complaining about but i do think in the nintendo direct double feature there was something for everyone even just one thing for me personally, it was a lot of things. But yeah, good, good showcases. I am starving and I'm gonna go figure out why my coffee cup thing keeps leaking because I do wanna drink my coffee without it spilling on me. That'd be really nice actually. So I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, that's, that's, uh, that might stop. My hand tracking is goofing today, stop. I will link the VOD down below so you can watch the thing in full if you would like. Um, if not, if you're just looking for like a specific trailer that I like didn't include the full trailer of because I don't include any food full trailers in this video, um, the Nintendo account usually posts all those after this goes up and I'm putting this up tomorrow, like the day after. So if you're curious about any specific trailer, it's probably on the Nintendo channel by now. Or other thought, especially in the case of the indies, you can find those trailers on the, the social media accounts for the games. So there's that. But if you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. I had to cough and I forgot where I was in my intro. Outro. It's an outro. Oh my God. The coffee is not hitting yet. Uh, we're just going to keep going. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world. Uh, go wishlist an indie or something. That's the that's the call for this video. Go wishlist an indie or something. I don't even... It can be Pizza Tower even. Just go go like an indie on the Nintendo eShop or something. I don't know. But I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.